what what advice, Angus, would, would you give to other European operators? And, and European is probably the you know the important one there. You know, as regulations are tightening and we're seeing the advertisers banned in Spain, in Italy, and soon to be Netherlands and Belgium. What advice do you give in other European operators who are looking to drive customer engagement? Well, I think you you don't need to look much further than the number of there's a big graveyard of failed free to play uh, products, particularly in the UK, that were heavily supported mm. by marketing, TV marketing spend, uh, all trying to replicate Skybet's Super Six, which is probably the origin, original sort of uh, game that got everyone taking notice. I guess what I've learned in the last couple of years is that um, depending on what we talked about before, different markets, uh, the different stage of company, free to play games can drive very, very different outcomes uh, and can be used in several different ways. Uh, to put it simplistically, acquisition and retention. And it's rare to me that I see, particularly with third party games, um, rare to see the products being specifically built for that goal. Your pick six predictor game, it's low barriers to entry, it's very easy, but it's not being honed. There's, uh, if it's acquisition, there's not enough emphasis on conversion from free to paid. So I'd say what I've learned and how I've changed my approach is in addition to marketing the product differently, depending on the strategic goal, building in some key features to that product, uh, be it referral, if you want to drive acquisition, or w whatever it is, to make sure that you're aligning product build with that strategic goal. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned sort of other games, and what did you say, a graveyard of free-to-play, particularly in the yeah. UK, right? So that, that, there's a lot of operators that we, me and Ed, speak to in the gambling space who who just want a reskin of a product that they see working elsewhere, but haven't necessarily thought about the objectives they're looking to achieve, um, acquisition, awareness, engagement, or retention, or even if they're in the same market, you know? Is, that, is, it, a, is it the same sort of audience? Do they have the same habits? Do they even know how to play a predictor game? You know, they, all these points are incredibly um, important for operators to, to think about, and, and super that you're obviously, you know, thinking about this along the way, so it's really, really, you know, it's good to see and it's great to work with you guys on this.